So you're at the end of your tether here, you're still slicing it, the path is still from the outside, can't stop your golf ball going to the right. Well, before you pack golf up and take up darts, just I want you to try this one thing for me. So if you're a chronic slicer over the topper, just give this a go before the clubs go on eBay for me. Let's see if we can give you a little hope. And you're gonna need an aim stick. So you can see what I've done here, do a little close up. Aim stick through the belt loops, nice and simple. And I want you to take your setup for me. And just as a, a little preemptor, let's make sure that when you set up, if I just get a close up there, your left hip is slightly higher than your right hip. And also I want you to get the idea that your hips are pointing a little bit to the right to begin with. So there's a little cheat to start with. Then get yourself up to the top of the swing. So there's your first turn, those hips have turned. Now you're probably under the impression that when you start down, you've got to spin your hips like crazy. Go as fast as you can, because that hits the ball a long way. That's nonsense if you're a slicer. So I want you to go to the top of the swing. And then as you start feeling your arms swing down, I want you to turn your hips to the right again. Yep, you heard me correctly. So it's gonna look something like this. Up to the top of the swing. Now as you start swinging down, instead of going this way with the hips, which is probably what you think you're supposed to do, turn them even more away from the target. Remember, we're in last chance saloon here. Just bear with me and give this a go. This is really gonna help you if you're a slicer. Left hip higher than the right, hips turn to the right to begin with. Up to the top of the swing, so we let the hips turn as normal. But then as you start down, I want you to feel like you're turning your hips even more away from the target. Watch again the aim stick, there's the top of the swing. As soon as I start down, I'm gonna go this way. Yep, you're seeing that correctly. Now remember this is a feeling, okay? And if you could actually do this, it would be very impressive. What would happen is your swing direction would go X amount from the inside, and you'd actually start to hit some draws. Probably something you haven't done for a little while, if at all. So. Get yourself set up. Remember your feeling is up to the top and as you start down you're going to turn your hips even more back away from the target. Like my belt buckle is going to go back to the camera. So again, left hip higher than the right, pre-turn them a little bit, turn to the top. And we just get that feeling of turning them again that way. Now it's probably not going to happen, but what it will stop you doing is this move, this crazy spin of the hips, throwing the arms out and of course shifting the path to the left. Please give this a go, it's going to be a game changer for you.